peace, family. Stay the ready, never gotta is get ready. It is all around us. Even now in this very room. You can see it when you look out your window or when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you go to work, when you go to church, when you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are a slave in you. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. Mm -hmm. A prison for your mind. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Mm hmm. Peace to the family, y'all. Huh? Peace to the family, y'all. Huh? Let's get it. Mm hmm. Crash, I raise digital dead. Hello, baby. Hold on, my bad. I was just trying to look this up, bro. Yeah. Tonight, family, we on it tonight, yo. <coughs> Big ball, so much with key. She on her knees, let's be dear. Huh? He, we the real elite, chosen one with Jordan's in my feet. Get a new, get a new, let's do Mm -hmm. Sweeter than a 
D, just come from real gangsters to eat. Big boss, so on to a key, you give me bless me be a tea. Black guard and a Nike, illuminated, we the real elite. Chosen one with Jordans on my feet. Star C, sacred geometry, smoke a tree connected to the tree. Parasites is watching like a stay ready, watch out for the demons, trick or kill them, hit them for no. Bow. Peace, love, and abundance, family. Stay ready, you never gotta get ready. And stay dangerous out there in the streets. So tonight, you know we are gonna talk about one of the ancestors, man. Simeon Toko, all right? A, a, a Congolese man who summoned black angels during a war, okay? During the Belgium War and the Congolese, all right? And this, this, this topic all ties into spiritual warfare. And certain energies that the 144 and certain chosen ones is getting. So if you don't believe in this this 3D to 5D shift, this video is not for you. Okay, if you truly do not believe that you are a spiritual warfare and everything, mo most of these most of this fucking matrix and they, these programs is against you. This video is not for you, family. All right. If if you do not believe in metaphysics and beyond this physical. This video is not for you. If you do not believe in angels, all right? If you do not believe in demons, this video is not for you, okay? Because every every topic that I talk about, I truly believe in my heart. This is why I bring this shit to the surface. This is why I bring this shit to certain spiritual siblings, okay? Now, this is very important, man. In these times, we got to start learning more about ancestors and, 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 and certain great things that they did. You heard? Certain great things that they did, man. You know, and, and before we even talk about this, I want to talk about a couple things, man, because you got so many people out here that is spreading fear monger energy due to what that whole Russia and shit going on. I'm telling you right now, like most of them leaders, them niggas is pussy now, family. I'm trying to tell you, ain't nobody about to go to work. Niggas is pussy now. It's not like a hundred years ago, bro. And it, and it all ties into what niggas eat. Everything you eat and drinking all this fluoride water and shit like that, this shit is really, this, all this is, uh. This shit is feminizing the masculine energy. So you got a lot of these niggas, the elite type, these niggas is pussy. Ain't nobody going to war. You feel me? And I'm seeing a lot of you YouTube niggas out here spreading for fear monger and shit like that. If you were someone who is tapped in, if you're a real chosen one, bro, you already prepared for some shit like that. You feel me? You already got shit stocked up. You already got a, a means to cipher water or gallons of water. You already got your spiritual tools. You, know, you feel me, family? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm getting at, right? And at the end of the day, man, it's not really about food, right? It's not really about food, man. We don't need food. We need fucking energy. We need energy, okay? We need energy. This is why I told y'all, bro. You need to get on your regimen where you're only eating one meal a day. Because if some shit really did happen, you ain't going to be eating. Motherfuckers ain't going to be eating how they eating now, all right? You're going to be eating one, maybe one good meal. I'm telling you. So you need to get on your body. You need to get your body on that regimen now. And that all ties into intimate fasting. You feel me? You're not supposed to be putting mad meals in your body anyway. You're supposed to be working out, eating one good meal a day. And throughout the day, little snacks, peanuts, berries, and shit like that. You feel me? How we eat in this Western world is completely against um, the, 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 the spiritual body. This is why a lot of us niggas is unhealthy. You feel me? A lot of you niggas is dealing with lower, lower uh, frequencies of thought and shit like that due to the food that you are putting in your body, family. Spiritual warfare, right? Hold up. Hold up. Yo. Hmm. But this is the shit they fear. They fear. They fear. They fear niggas like me who's breaking out the matrix. You know, connecting with other uh, spiritual siblings and shit like that. This is why my page is such in a in a in a, in a dark algorithm. Okay, you got to look at some of these bigger platforms, bro. Judah Hunter, be you feel me? I'm on the same frequency over here. So you got to think about it. It's all spiritual warfare. It's all all this uh, sensitizing. You know, fact checking all this shit. 
is a direct reflection to lowering the frequency of human beings right now because we are entering the age of Aquarius, which is connected to what family information. The you know, man is starting to tap more into his etheric body. Okay, this is why I told y'all the spiritual warfare is real, man. The spiritual warfare is real. And if shit does hit the fan, we need to start getting more in tune with digesting natural energy, y'all. Okay, why do you think the ancestors have been connecting us with the sun so much in the last couple of years? Because the sun, if you are able to connect with the sun, is actually a full source. Okay, it's a full source. Have you ever noticed you will, if you ever noticed you being outside in the summer, you got your shirt off, and this is for only niggas who's tapping in. You feel me? Right now at this time, I'm only talking to niggas who's tapping in, bro. If you outside taking shoes off, getting sun, gardening and shit like that, meditating, this, this is who I'm talking to. All right, but if you ever been out there during the summertime, family, a beautiful summer day, you might have drunk some good water, maybe a smoothie or something like that, and you find yourself all day not really eating, but you're not hungry. Okay, this this is a direct reflection of you absorbing other energies for your energy. Okay, this is what the this is what this is what breathitarians do. Okay, a breathitarian is able to do breathing exercise. To get energy stored in the body and therefore use, you feel me? Use the air, use the sun, use the waters and shit like that for energy. This is what we need to start tapping into, family. It's not really all about food, man. It's not about it's not about food. And another thing, too, that the ancestors was connecting me with, like, wait, hold on. All these gas prices is so high, right? You got to think about it, bro. There's truly not a shortage of gas. What it is, is they're trying to move everybody to electrical cars, this is what it is, family. And, and if you notice, they're pushing the electric car so hard right now. Yo, gasoline is at this price. Come get you an electric car. All right. When in all actuality, an electric car damn near costs as much to power as a gasoline car. Hmm? And we and you know, I got on this bitch and talked about the suppressed technology. We've been having engines that run up, run off motherfucking water and shit like that. You feel me? Motherfuckers. Pfft. Come on, family. We've been having engines that rid off water, natural elements. So the fact that we're still using gasoline in these times is crazy. The fact that we still we, we using um electricity is crazy. We should be using air. There should be air powered engines in, in the times that we live in. All right. So come on. All this shit right now is all for capitalism, all for money gain. OK, the richer get richer, the poorer get poorer. This is some real shit. This is some real shit, you heard? So when it comes to that fear monger energy family, do not connect with that shit. Because like I said, as chosen ones, you putting out that shit into the atmosphere, you're going to really make some shit happen out here. You feel me? And I'm noticing a lot of woke ones just pushing fear on your energy. Come on, bro. We, we've been on this knowledge for years, bro. The ancestors, the certain teachers higher than us, they've been telling niggas to prepare, get ready for some shit. You think it's just all talk? This shit real spiritual warfare. This shit is real out here. <laughs> You feel me? Like I said, niggas been niggas been getting attacked since you came out the pussy, nigga. Since you came out the womb, family, you've been getting attacked. Since you came out the womb, you feel me? You come, you come. Soon as you come out the womb, is chaotic energy. You getting attacked. Niggas feed you sugar water. You feel me? You got these uh, synthetic lights all around that's actually doing more harm to the body when you come out. You supposed to be in a in a, in a you know, dim lighting, calm energy, everybody's screaming around. And then not to mention how they take you and do something with you. To first, you feel me? We can't talk too much about that shit, but you know what I mean? And I, that's like I said, that's the spiritual warfare. They're taking the senses from people. They're, they're, they're making emotionless people because when you're not, when you're not, when you're not uh, functioning with emotion and logic, what happens family is you become a robot. You become a bot. All right. You, you, you know, you, uh, you're following everything. You can't think for yourself. This is what these people are trying to breed in this Generation X, in this new society. They're trying to breed bots. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers is breeding bots in these days. You heard, family? And it all ties into what we about to talk about. You feel me? The ancestor that summoned black angels during the motherfucking warfare. This is real. When I heard about this story, send me in Toko a couple hundred years ago. This shit hit my heart. You feel me? This shit hit my heart, boy. This the ancestors. This the ancestor, bro. And this is what they fear. This is why they fact check. This is why they 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 make niggas like me talk about certain shit like this. Motherfuckers be thinking this shit. Demon, oh, you dealing with crystals? You do? No, I'm telling you, family. It's a spiritual war. 
They want you staying at a low frequency so you're not able to unlock your powers. Okay? With these superpowers comes the ability of prayer and really connecting with the ancestors, really putting prayers out and shit is happening right there and then to the point where nigga deities is coming to move objects for you right here in the physical. This is the motherfucker shit they don't want niggas tapping into. And it all it all connects to your energy family, the kundalini, uh, uh, aligning the chakras. This is all what this is connected to, heightening your vibration, not being no motherfucking rage demon out here. You feel me? Tapping in, nigga. This shit's some crazy shit, bro. This shit's some crazy shit, bro. All right? So, um, yeah, before we talk about the main topic, what else did I want to cover? Um, I also wanted to cover because somebody asked me a question about where do you think the spirit and the soul resides in the body? Okay, you got to think about it, man. I've been talking about this for a little while. When it comes to the third eye, too, I'm probably going to make a whole video on the third eye because I see a lot of y'all, you know, talking about the third. You know, it's all it's all most of this uh, metaphysical energy. It just gets recycled. But when we hear it again, you know, when we keep hearing it, it just, you know, there's a little bit added on to it. But my theories on the soul and spirit is. It's simple. It's like this. All right, family. Your spirit, right? Your spirit resides in your heart energy. Okay. Your heart chakra energy. Okay. Your heart. You got three brains within a body. Your spirit resides in your heart and your chest. Okay. This is why your, your heart is the first organ that is formed. This is where your spirit resides. Okay. And your, I truly feel like your soul resides in your solar plex energy. Solar plex. This is why they call this area right here by your stomach solar plex this is where your soul is okay in your stomach okay this is why it's very important to watch what you eat in and not to mention how your intestines is made up of the same material as your brain that's why i say you got three brains within the body okay have you ever noticed when you put in a healthy meal in your body how you feel the clarity of your thoughts you feel me the way you're able to remember information do you feel me, family? I'm not just talking to shit. And this is for all my niggas out there. You you feel me? If you ever did a cleanse and the next day you just realize how on um, point you are, you're just, your thoughts is crisp. And in these times, these sacred fasting and shit is going to be very important because they're activating their technology. And I've told you guys about these solar flares, right? These solar flares also have the ability to bring us information. That's why they blocking them solar flares too. That's why they got all the motherfucking satellites in the heavenly realm, family, creating these synthetic nets, all right, blocking you from the natural frequencies of the celestial bodies that we are all getting information from, okay? This is what they're doing, spiritual warfare, right? So like I said, your soul resides, your stomach. This is why when something bad happens or something crazy happens, when you out here in this matrix, if you're just starting to tap in, where do you feel this first? You feel it and you get a gut feeling. This is where your soul is. This is why they attack the gut. Okay? If your soul it was it within your mind, they would attack the mind more, which they do. Don't get it twisted because your mind is connected to your Akashic record. Your third eye is very important too. Let's not get it twisted. The mind is very important too. But, you know, we uh, when it comes to knowledge, we discredit, you know, the stomach. You discredit your gut when this is where the real spiritual warfare comes into play. You feel me? The, 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 the war, the biological war starts with the stomach and the shit you put in your mouth. This is why in this Western world, motherfuckers, is what? We all addicted, most, not me, well, mostly everybody addicted to sugar, bro. And I ain't even going to front. I got a slight addiction to sugar, but it's not that bad, bro. Like, I, you know, I go days and weeks without eating no sugary products, nigga, nothing, nigga. It, 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 maybe a little bread and shit like that, you know, but that's about it. You know, and I'm weaning myself off sugar, too, because I realize that sugar is destroying the body. You feel me? We can't go too hard on it, but y'all know what I mean. It's all the spiritual warfare. Like I said, why you think they give, if your baby moms or whatever, when you first, if you, you know, you have a seed and you don't want to give your baby formula right, up, right away and your baby moms is not um, breastfeeding, they'll recommend you give your baby sugar water. What type of shit is that? Sugar water to a little ass baby, son? Like what? So you realize it's a war. They're getting you addicted to this, 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 this uh, deadly substance from a young age. And not to mention how sugar destroys the body with it, punches holes in the brain, aspartame and shit like that. So spiritual warfare, y'all. Spiritual warfare. You heard? 
All right, hold on. Let me see what, what y'all niggas saying in the chat. My bad. I'm, I'm over here going in. Before we talk about um the ancestors, Shimmy and Toko, what y'all saying in the chat, man? We got, uh, yep, spiritual warfare at its highest. Absolutely, brother. Absolutely, yo. You, especially in these times when the ascension is real, when man is really starting to tap more into his etheric body, you feel me? They're going harder. Why weren't they doing this shit years ago? You feel me? Why weren't, you feel me? You got to think about it. Why weren't they genetically modifying food 20, 30 years ago? Think about this shit, family. And they talk about, oh, there's more people on the earth. Nah, don't, don't get that twisted, bro. When, when you when you tap into farming and shit like that, you realize that the earth gives in abundance. The earth gives in abundance. There's no reason we need to be uh, genetically modifying shit because of the population is high. This is, what they, this is what they try to tell us. And this is what they're giving us now. There's a food shortage. Nah, family, this is just all spiritual warfare, bro. This is all connected to spiritual warfare. They want motherfuckers in a in a lower frequency state so we can't receive these divine messages that's coming. You heard? This shit real. Yo, peace, uh, peace, bronze. I don't care about that, bro. It's whatever, man, for that brother, man. I don't, you know, we over here tapping in, bro. You see, you see what we on. You see what we on, all right? So, so like I said, man, you know, in a time when, you know, and this brings us to the next topic, right? This brings us to the ancestor, you know, Simeon Toko, somebody who was able to tap into his DNA family. He was able to tap into his DNA. I'm going to play a short video. Another one of my brothers is going in, breaking down. Uh, reading out this book, breaking it down of certain stories that happened with this brother family. But I'm telling you, when I was hearing some of these stories, they were resonating at a true frequency. And now in these times, I'm able to call Bush. I could tell, bro. I could tell what niggas is living this shit. I could tell niggas what type of niggas is just talking. I feel the frequency of certain stories that it answers. I feel shit now. It's different than just hearing it. You feel me? My activation is, is slowly activating. I feel shit now. You feel me? I'm able to damn near see the uh, energy of certain people. You feel me? I can see, it's weird, family, see colors and shit coming off niggas. You feel me? So Simeon Toko, though, family, was a, was, a, uh, was a man who really tapped into his DNA, and he was able to put his, his prayers up, and the creator gods and shit like that came down and moved things for him, all right? Now, I'm going to play a little video of one of my brothers breaking down, you know, a lot of things. And if you could see, if I could zoom in right here, you could see right here, here on your screen, Simeon Toko, right, was having operation, open heart, open heart surgery. The doctors had family, listen to this. The doctors had Simeon Soko's heart outside of his body and he woke up. Boom. My man woke up like, yo, what are y'all doing? Put my shit, you feel me? Put my shit back. And the doctors were so stunned and so terrified that they damn near couldn't put the shit back in him because they were like, how the fuck did this man wake up? You feel me? And he was just, there's there was tons of stories, family, of just him dying, coming back, him bringing people back from the dead. And like I said, he summoned these black angels when they were, in, when he was, when they were worn, the Congolese were worn with the ba the Beijings. You feel me? But let me play this, family. Let me play this. Because, you know, this is just this is information we got to tap into in these times. And, and you know, it just it, it makes you know that you are greater, bro. You know? And one thing about Simeon Toko is when he did act, when he did receive his power, he was also getting visions. And he just thought he wasn't worthy. That's the thing. A lot of y'all motherfuckers... Don't think like that in these times. You may have been through the worst. You may have done some crazy shit. As long as you ain't do nothing to you feel me? You may have been out there getting money, nigga, doing your little shit. But when it comes time, bro, when you chose, don't don't be like that, bro. Don't be like, damn, I don't deserve you because you do. You feel me, family? You do deserve everything that you are going to receive. You feel me? Facts. And if you look at this picture, right, on the left with the with Cesar Bonjour. What does he always do? He always depicts a heart, right? He always depicts the heart. Now there's a reason why they there's a reason why Christ depicts the heart in his chest. Okay, there's a reason. And the reason is is, is a symbol of eternal life, right? Eternal life. 
So the fact that spiritually Simeon Toko got attacked by his heart and he was put his shit back in his chest is crazy. You feel me? Some people are actually saying that he is the he was the second Christ. He had the spirit of, you know, he had the spirit of, of Christ within him, and that's why he was able to activate his energy. All right. Now, let's get it. I'm gonna play this. Let me play this real quick. All right, here we go. Even as you were led. Okay, Wherefore, now listen. I was alive. My wife was alive. Many of us was alive that's listening to this show. Was alive in 1984 when this man was still on this planet. Right? He reached a Christ state. Christ consciousness. Samuel Toko appeared before people in an aboriginal body and in his dream state. While he was physically alive and continued to do so among certain select people 17 years after his death, after his natural death, at least one witness said he, he personally killed Samuel Toko. Now, listen, quite professionally, as a hired killer, okay. An so, and saw him alive <coughs> a few days later. <laughs> so, you hear that? that an assassin accounted, like, yo, bro, I killed this man, bro. A hired assassin killed Simeon Toko, said that he physically headshot, bro. He was done. And then the assassin seen him walking two days later. So this is what the ancestors would do if you are really supposed to be here on a divine path, bro. If you are really a person of renown, things like that, bro, you can't get touched. I, to I told you about the story about the young man who got hit 50 times, bro. He got hit 50 times by six different guns in one sitting and he lived. He got hit all on his body, bro. But he lived. And the doctors are like, we don't understand. It's because the ancestors intervened. You heard the creator gods. Niggas have spiritual contracts. You heard spiritual contracts. Kundalini activated. It's that God buddy rap. Black melanated. That's the thing. The melanin is activating, guys. The activation is real. You heard? Writers say that they saw Toko physically slaughtered and watched him bring himself back to life. Listen, y'all, this ain't no cat. Simeon Toko unleashed his army. This, this event was witnessed by thousands of people on January the 4th, 1959. And on that day, the cherubims and seraphims appeared and stood like against the Belgian colonial army. The citizens of Leopoldville saw an army of about 1,000 very small men. Listen. About the size of children or dwarfs. These are like the size of the twilight. The pygmy people, that's what it was. The eight the, the black angels that Simeon Toko um summoned were short, muscular, pygmy type looking angels, bro. You feel me? You gotta think about it. I, I I feel like thousands of years ago we was actually littler than what we was now, type shit, when we was in certain jungles. If you link into that bloodline, you feel me? If you look at the indigenous of Americans, like we weren't that big, bro. You know, so this is deep. And when these people on the opposition seen these black angels family, what do you think they did? What do you think these Belgian people see, did when they seen these black angels come out from the sky? They ran for their life, y'all. Yeah? They ran for their life. And there is accounts, there is history. They, they have documented it. This is a real thing in history. You feel me? They're not talking about this, though. They're not talking about Simeon Toko, the man who summoned black angels. You ain't going to hear this shit like that in, in your school, in your textbook. But this was actually documented and recorded in history. This was a real account. Over a thousand soldiers from the Belgian army witnessed these beings come out the sky. And they thought they had a clean win. They was coming in to... They was coming in, did you feel me, take the Congolese out. They was coming in for that territory, but nah, nah. And this is why they don't even fuck with the Congolese jungle and shit like that now. Human-looking creatures showing great strength. This is where this is where you get the character of the best from, which is the Twa or the Anubi. For example, a witness saw one of them flip a five-ton truck Belgian soldiers fired at these little brown angels with no effects. Terrified, no effects. the colonial army was thrown into Look, confusion. Look, bullets bounce off. They disappeared as they appeared. One year after this, a 
Since bulletproof mass skin. The Democratic Republic of Congo was a new and independent country. So you got to ask Simeon Toko, what was his, what was he practicing? Was he practicing Palo Mayombe or some Which is a certain Palos? form of voodoo, you heard? Because he was from the Congo. Doing a stay in Angola That's in 1990. Ten years after um, Toko's death, Pastor Ladilino had reported a Portuguese woman held in Simeon Toko and set him up to crawl under the blade of a sea soul while he was under the engine. Right? This is why listen, listen to this Toko story, y'all. The, the foreman sitting in the driver's seat started it up, severing it into pieces, the body of Simeon Toko. Severed him. Terrified, Kahani stood frozen in the spot watching. The foreman shift into reverse and backed it up and then got off to check the damage. Then the unbelievable shit happened. Before Kahani's and the two Portuguese accomplices, the body of Simeon Toko recomposed itself. He started, re he, he shifted his shit back. You know what I mean? He healed himself from him getting slaughtered in a big, like the wood chipper type things, family. Look, you heard what he said? After the man seen that, he converted. He was like, oh, shit, this is some real shit, bro. Like this man. You feel me, family? And like I said, there was tons of uh, feats that he did. He brought people back from like, this is shit they're not talking about. Yo, they're not going to tell you this. He, 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 there's stories of him bringing people back from life, healing little babies and shit like that. You feel, you feel me? Healing little babies. Simeon Toko, all right, was on my altar. Along with Sammy Kabongo. These are the type of people, these avatars, along with Shek Obama. These are the avatars that you have to put on your altar. And like I said, the, the, when it comes like to that altar stuff, Elias I don't really do the altars. You feel me? The ancestors in my heart, my within my body Elias is my altar. You feel me? I don't need no outside thing when it comes to the altars and shit like that. But to each his own, you know. To each his own. No. Hold up. What was I trying to do? That's, and that's what people say. Right? Some old European nonsense that has no power whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Right? You still wait for white Jesus to come out of the sky. Mm. So you know you don't have no power. So you can't possibly imagine the shit that Simeon Toko um, has done. Right? Right here. Matthew 26, 50. Think of thou that I cannot pray to my father, he shall present presently give me more than 12 legions of angels. Well, that's what Simeon Toko did. He prayed to God and he received those small brown angels or men who was mm. able to lift, one of them was able to lift a five ton truck over with one hand, turn it over with one hand. That's deep. Let's right? go, go, family. In a plane, sat a Catholic priest. Listen to this story. This is how Now listen, this is an accounted story. Did you hear what this brother said? He's reading out of a, a magazine article, okay? You can't get this shit no more, all right? So did you hear what they said? This is what they do to some of our black and more messiahs. This is what the shit they be doing, 
Okay, they said that they had Simeon Toko in a plane, and their plan, all right, this is the spiritual warfare, y'all. Their plan was to push this brother out of the plane over the Atlantic Ocean to see if his energy was true. And like, what, you feel me? It was the hype true? Because like I said, he stirred up a lot of energy and a lot of world leaders knew about Simeon Toko. You feel me? They knew about him. Like, damn, this nigga is summoning black angels, winning war. You feel me? So they, they really try to get him. So listen what happened though. Before you know, as they as they're about to, as they're about to uh you know further their plan and push my man out the plane, listen to what happens. On the plane to counteract the magical powers of the African through prayer. Through praying. He was pray he was praying this too. This planned project was about to be about to backfire. The moment the PIDE agents rose to subdue. Simeon Toko and carry out their murder. Simeon Toko stood up and ordered the plane to stop in mid-air. He stood still, not advancing an inch, not rose, nor fell backwards. The crew was stricken by panic. The priest could hardly breathe and hoarsely huffed out desperate prayers. So they had a they Catholic all, priest on the plane because Simeon Toko was on it. You feel me? His spiritual energy was deep, so they had the priest on the plane for slight protection. Simeon Toko for mercy. Simeon Toko lifted up his eyes and hands towards the heavens, and after a short prayer, he ordered the plane to move again. See, this is real. This is the real power of prayer. Mm. You got the Catholic prayer, the Catholicism prayer, all right, which correlates with the Protestant movement prayers. You got the real prayer. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, bro. You got the rare prayer. Like, look, look at how we pray today. Look at how the average person prays. What do you do? You get on your knees, you look down, you feel me? You close your whole soul and your spirit within your body down. You're holding it. You feel me? While you pray, while you pray. And that's how the Western world taught us to pray. But when we look at the ancestors, when we pray, we looked up. Our hands was open. You feel me? In a receiving energy, you're open up your you opening up your energy, your spirit, and your soul. When you Put your hands open. You look up, chest up. That's how you're supposed to pray, bro. You feel me? That's how you're supposed to pray. The Western way we pray is, is, is you feel me? It is, I feel like it's, but pray how you pray, though, at the end of the day. But that's just a little, you know, just a little energy when it comes to how I pray. I look up, hands open, you feel me? And a receiving energy. No. Marinda. So, um, Zaza in 1974 of a Portuguese doctor taking out the heart of Simeon Toko. Mm. And Simeon Toko came to on the operating table. Look. Now, this is this is him coming to with his heart out of his chest. Look at the scar on my man's chest. His heartless corpse was moving on his own fruition. He opened his eyes and sat up and looked at them with the chest gaping open. <laughs> All right? And ask them, why do you prosecute me like this? The same thing that Jesus asked the Romans. All right? And he said to them, give me back my heart. And the doctors fearfully returned his heart and placed it back in his chest. And so this is why you see this picture of him holding up. It's showing you where they took out his heart at. Newspapers announced Simeon Toko and died in 66. He died of heart failure. Like, really, he ruled his death. All and his right. body remains undecaying and intact. Mm. In the fashion of Yogananda and other holy men high on a mountain in Angola. Mm. That's deep. So, see, I show these examples, right? Because this is what we can also do when we expand our minds beyond the average ten percent usage. Exactly. Right. Quantum physicists have stated that the average mind or the average person only uses ten percent of their brain, the linear portion that is. DMT, as we said earlier, is no longer produced after puberty. And if it is, it will only be during the time of your death. All so right. Between so that time, you have to learn how to with that said, family. 
you know, I'm going to stop that right now. But with that said, you know, this is just, you know, the ability that, you know, some of us have when we truly believe, bro, when you truly start to tap into yourself and shit like that. You know, when you truly start to, uh, you know, just reach higher thoughts of consciousness and just raise your vibration, you know, so. You know, we probably gonna do a part two, man, because there was certain prophet, there were certain prophecies that Simeon Toko had that, you know, is coming to play in this modern world, man, in this world that we living in today. So I'm probably gonna make a part two when it comes to uh, you know, my brother, the ancestors and shit like that. But um, yeah, man, you know, I'm I'm, I'm gonna end this video pretty much on that, yo, because you know, it's just amazing, like I said. And there's a little bit of information out there on on uh, Simi and Toko. There's not too much information out there. But, yeah, family, go do your research on this, brother. Go tap more into the ancestors, man, because this is real. This is this is real, man. And this just naturally empowers you when you learn about certain things and certain ancestors that exist before us and the abilities that they had. You feel me? This It, it empowers you. You feel me? It empowers you, family. You know, and it, it damn near protects you while you out here moving in this matrix. You heard? But yo, listen, I'm I'm about to be off this. We're about to go out with a track. And like I said, family, stay ready. You never gotta get ready. And stay dangerous out there in the streets, yo. For real. Hey, puffin' on haze. Is that a Kush keep you going crazy? Smoking Buddha with the real Buddhas. Night dwellers, demon shooters. Down on fire, you know what I'm shining. Yeah.